yo, yo, yo. Let's go. So guys, I'm here. This is the Gelato Beacon Super Mario collaboration again. Let's go. Okay, and the Mario slipper with the hat. It's actually quite thick for the cotton and it's super comfy as per usual Gelato Peak. And at the bottom, it's the usual bottom for the sole. Pouches. Oh, okay. Can you see these materials? So it comes up, you can feel it essentially when you're rubbing it as such. And also zipper, there is a star and on the back, Gelato Peak. Black and white version. Super cute, man. And on the other side, oh sorry, for the other side, identical. I just love the illustration here. So on the right hand side, you can see the entire collection because they have literally just released as of this minute. So everything is here and you can see a Goomba here as well. So cute. Also another pouch here with the little bone. Yep, the ones that we threw around, I'm sure many of you guys know it. If you've played Mario. Mix up there is the hair clips. Okay, this is pretty comfy. For the back of the clip, there is this piece of cotton, so it's not just straight off metal, so it should be more comfortable. I kind of like it, but um, I prefer it being a pen, so I can hook it onto my bags and tops. Here are the different towels, small size, and a boo here. Star, oh, the star one, can you actually see the different colors? The gradient, blue, pink, yellow, and also the Yoshi one here. And the blankets, I'm not gonna unfold it because that will cause more work for the people, but I will just show you what's here. And you can essentially see the full picture here. If not, I'm dumping it on the screen right now. Nice. Moving on, there is the top. Look at this, it's so cute. It's got the question mark, box as usual, Yoshi at the center, Mario Gelato Peak, of course, promoting the brand and also the little bomb as well. On the back, Boo, Yoshi, Goomba, etc. Same for the bottom, as you can see, and also for the top. This time, the buttons don't come as a coin shape, but instead, there's a normal Gelato Peak button here, quite smooth. And here are the baby stuff, I mean kids. Fabric is pretty soft, as you would expect anyways, even though it's this cotton instead of this usual fleece material that we see. And yeah, this one's just so comfy. Even for the pocket, the brick and the flower, the overall printing is nice as well. And like this, if I've got a kid, that is if. Now, same motif in this grey and white illustration here. I like the color version more if I were to get one. But anyways, let's continue. Okay, we've got the Goomba top. These are sets, so essentially what you're seeing is the top part. So Gelato Peak, I kind of like this beige because it goes really well with this brown for the Goomba. And let's have a look at the back, there is nothing on the back. And for the bottom, there is a Goomba kind of falling over, slipping over or something. And next up, we've got Toad. Let's bring this boy out. Hello, Toad. And also here is another Toad for the bottom. Pretty nice, I think. Grayish blue, which I really like. Ooh, not King Boo, just Boo. There's the bottom part. I like this, but I mean the background colour is kind of too grey for me. I like lighter grey instead of this charcoal grey. And for all the sleeves, you've got Gelato Peak, Gelato Peak, la di da di da. Cotton PJs, Gelato Peak with Frozen 2 boost top for the PJs. This one's quite different in terms of the expressions and also for the bottom. This is so cool. I wish they've got top just for boos. This one is the sweater version. So this one's more simplistic and these parts, these lines come out as you can see with the finishing. And the same goes with the sleeve as well. So there's a pool here for the right leg. Right, moving on. These are the tops that we like, don't we? Gelato Peak, Gelato Peak, two identical marrows coming out of the tube this time. The coins are a bit different. Color is more subtle and milky. In that sense, not your bright yellow version as we've seen previously. This marrow here at the back, 
I think it's more colourful and fun for the fonts of the logo, which I like. Last time I've tried on the Pokemon version, and this one is the Bowser version. Scalp from the buttons are the same coins, but in the same charcoal grey that we see here. Just showing you guys. What's that? And close up details. Pretty nice. And the stitching is nice. And the same goes with the Mario as well. Pretty nice as well. I don't like this charcoal as much and the back, let's bring it out again. The printing is nice as well, as you can see, very well defined, which I like. Normal PJ Cotton version, as you can see my roof hopping into the pipe and for the bottoms. Different power-ups, star, tube, well there's tube and brakes which are not power-ups. Yep, and coins, well just the mushroom and star that is the power-up. And other than that, it's just the miscellaneous items you find in the game, and it is very, very soft. I don't know how many times I'm going to repeat, the cotton is so soft. Oh, I like this. Look at this Yoshi, man. And does it have anything at the bottom? Yes, it does. Okay, Yoshi. Okay, that's pretty cute. All right, it's a bit big and heavy, so let me pop this back. Same goes for the marrow as well, similar to the blue sweater that we've seen. So the come out which is pretty nice and I like this blue this blue is nice sky blue so here the pool set and also for the bottom there's no pool for the bottom that's disappointing there's no pool where's the pool at my man okay it looks good I like the pool but I don't like the charcoal what should I do okay let's try on this Mario top I'm too lazy this is how it goes I don't know I did take the Pikachu one last time, but I didn't get it. So it's the Snorlax. Let's go with the Bowser one. Bowser looks good enough. Okay, okay, let's try this on. I like it. So cute, man. See back. Oh man, what should I do? Bowser, tell me what should I do? It's growing on me, despite the charcoal color. Okay, side by side. Yep, I do like the Bowser one a lot more. As you can see, it's a lot nicer. Well, in my point of view. My real Bowser. My real Bowser. Bad news guys, Bowser's slippers have been sold out. For the rest, we are good. And of course, here is the previous collaboration with Sesame Street. Up. Right, let's have a closer look. Eyes are embroidered well, as you can see, with the stitching, the details are high quality. The fabric is the usual gelato peak fabric, which is very nice. And also surrounding the star shape, there is the lining as well, which is a little bit deviated on my star. And also on the back, there is the gelato peak embroidery as well, complemented with a small gelato peak and Super Mario. There's no bros tag here on the right hand side and what's more at the end of the zipper you've got the star and plastic and also at the back it says gelato peak as you can see vaguely here and let's open this up mind you that opening this is a bit fiddly because of the weird shape that the star has at the top but worry not we will get there because there's nothing in there at the moment there's just a bit of junk also on the interior it is silky smooth it's definitely not silk but polyester but it's pretty smooth and you you can't put that many things in it because essentially it's not too thick, around an inch. So you can't put anything of a big size in here. And also I like the tag so much. This I would definitely keep Super Mario Bro. I don't keep on saying Super Mario Bro. It's Super Mario meets Gelato Peak. And also the background motif for this particular series replicates what we have seen in the shop. For example, these Luigi Mario Goomba heads. And yep, at the back it's just silky smooth, not laminated. And this is more reflective tag out of material and lining 100% polyester but this is good polyester so Toyo is happy. At the moment I don't have anything or Pokemon cards around me that I can stuff it into but I'm sure you can kind of tell the size is pretty darn small for this particular pouch. 